you don't make it to the top, your bike's gonna tomahawk down. We definitely do risk it at times and uh, we will try and push the limit. You start breaking things and then your race is over. Some of the hill climbs are definitely super dangerous. The only way to get up it is 100% commitment. Really good champions talk about obsession because that's what it takes. If you're not obsessed, you're not gonna reach your goal. We push ourselves over the limit all the time and your body has to be ready to take that, your mind has to be ready to take that. It's absolute chaos. I just think I want it so bad, like I'll just go until my body won't anymore. I would never quit the race. That's not, that's not gonna happen. With the hard girl series, we have to make split second decisions. Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes it works in your favor. Failure is just a part of the path to achieving your ultimate goal. If you ever look at failure as anything more than that, then you're never gonna get past it and you're never gonna achieve what your ultimate destination is. As the season continues, the crashes are adding up and the bodies are taking a toll. Injuries are just part of the racing side of things. Once that helmet goes on, we all act like we're 100% and try and give it our all and try and get it to the finish. It's kind of a jungle out there and, uh, I mean, may the best man win. Oh, shit, Holy fuck, buddy. Oh! Just off the Tristan train, I think it's, it's gonna be tough. All us other racers can do is try as hard as we can and just try to take it down. Tristan takes all the negative that people say and just takes it to the podium. Like, he just wants to show people that he's the best. The biggest thing for Tristan is being under pressure. If he is under pressure, I don't think anybody can stand a chance against him. I just want to go out the way I came in, I guess. Winning. I've definitely seen where I've been afraid to fail, and I've seen times where like, I feel like I won't fail, and there's no chance in hell I'm gonna lose. They're not that far apart, to be honest. He is charging like this is the last race that he's ever gonna get the race. So there's a couple open spots on the top two steps of the podium, and we have some wild cards that are gonna show up, so it might be a good race. Definitely some more chances to get up on that podium, I and mean, I'm gonna be going for it. Being the youngest guy, it's just, makes it that much more fun to go out and beat the older guys. If the hunger is there, the determination is there, people can rise to the occasion. I asked him who he was and he looked at me kind of funny. I said, you're Colton F. and Haker. It's time. Set an example. You can do it. It's going to come down to a battle. Who's going to have the most grit, toughness, want, desire? I don't really care what anyone says or thinks, so I can just shut everything out and go do my thing. When I come to the race, it's not fun for me knowing that he's the guy to beat. I want to be that guy.